Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I'm back. All right. Before I get into what I really want to talk about, I want to talk about while I was gone and why I was gone and what happened when I was gone and why I decided to change my channel uh, outside of this. So uh, YouTube has wrote a new policy and let's just be just be clear and be honest. YouTube is a democratic ran uh, social media outlet. So is Facebook, so is Twitter, so is all of them. They all run with the Democrats. And if you don't support their narrative, they're blocking and deleting your channel and your posts. It's gotten so bad that Facebook is even fact-checking fact checking opinions. And to me, that's when I say I have to make my exit out of this. Because it's no point of me trying to Tell people how I feel on a social media platform when I'm getting rejected for my opinion. It's not that I'm giving you a fact. I'm saying, well, I feel this way. And they're saying, fact check. How are you trying to fact check an opinion? That's how I feel. It's not that I'm saying that uh, 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 telling you one plus one is three. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you my opinion. And they're fact-checking people's opinions. So, with that being said, they're coming after conservatives. And I see that now because they're shadow banning and they are deleting people's channels when you don't go along with the narrative. And it can be any narrative that they decide. So, Moving forward, I am not going to be doing too many more political videos. Most of my videos now are going, I'm going to be reviewing movies. And to me, that's an easier route for me because I love movies. And on top of that, people love movies. And I don't believe that YouTube is going to shadow ban or delete people's channels over movie reviews, but who knows, things can change because we're living in this time. So with that being said, I will return to politics one day or I might just drop one video here and there. But for the most part, this is Torture Talk from the car movie reviews. And I will be doing my album reviews as usual. You know, if you know me, you follow my channel, you'll see it. All right. So, today I'm going to start with the first movie I'm going to review is Wonder Woman 1984. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the content. If you don't like the content, hit the thumbs down. Hey, listen, you know what? You can do whatever you want. And also, too, if you want to donate, the link is in the description. All right, Wonder Woman 1984. So, Wonder Woman... 1984 is the sequel to Wonder Woman. And the first Wonder Woman, I would say, I fairly enjoyed. It was good. The storyline was very good. I think that how they pitched the first Wonder Woman was she was in the past and uh, Steve who was her boyfriend or who was her, the guy, he flew into a time loop or a time warp and he fell into a time warp and went into the mascara. Okay. So Wonder Woman found him on the beach. Basically, he taught her things that, you know, she didn't know, you know, where he was from. So he taught her certain things. And I think that she fell in love with him because of that. And he taught her some things. Now, not to give too much away from the first movie, but that's what it was. So going into the second movie, the roles were reversed. Steve comes back. And when he comes back, he's living in a time period 
where she knows about it and he doesn't. So that aspect of the movie, I appreciate it because she now had to teach him everything from when he had to teach her everything. And certain parts were okay. Um, overall, the movie, to me, the first act of the movie was okay. Now, this, you, know, you got to understand, this movie is two and a half hours long. So the first act of the movie built up uh, this one character who played Cheetah, built up because she was one of those women that had no confidence in herself. And, you know, she had to, you know, build it up. And she seen Diana and Diana was uh, this beautiful woman who everybody respected. And she just commanded respect. When she walked in a room, she just was one of those type of people. And I believe that Cheetah wanted to be like Diana. You know, she wanted to be that way. Now, getting into the, and I'm not going to go through the acts of the movie because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. I'm just going to just leave it there. And I'm going to talk about the main protagonist in the movie, um, Really, I was confused about the main protagonist in the movie because was it really, was it really the oil tycoon or was it really the stone? That's the thing. And maybe because of his ambitions, you know, that's what happened. But still, now, given the fact that the movie was took a couple of years to make. I would think that the CGI in this movie would be so much better than what it was. And I should be honest with y'all, the CGI was terrible. Now, terrible as in not terrible as in terrible looking, terrible as in syncing it up. Because I think, I believe that the CGI has gotten to the point now where you don't even know what CGI is anymore because it could be anything that's every any and everything could be CGI and you wouldn't even know because it's so it's so realistic now. But sometimes I believe that when you overdo CGI, it just looks out of out of place. And I think that there were certain scenes in this movie where I said to myself, they really didn't need CGI for that. They could have just did that regular. You know what I'm saying? And it probably would have looked more real. You know, some parts in this movie just looked bad. Like, not looked bad as in looked bad, but just sinking wise it just looked bad. It looked like it looked like it was fake. And I don't know if they was intentionally doing that. You know, maybe because it was 1984 and the theme had to be 1984. And maybe they was intentionally doing that. I don't know. But I just know that it didn't line up right for some reason. That's one. Number two, um, it didn't, they didn't have too much 80s theme music playing. And it's like, I get it that this is the 80s, but it didn't feel like an 80s movie at all. It felt like a movie from a modern movie that was set back in the 80s, but it felt like it was a newer movie. If that makes sense, it didn't feel like an 80s movie. You know, I know that they had 80s clothes and 80s this. Maybe they should have, I don't know, used instead of using uh, um, technology from now, maybe you should have did it like the 80s, kind of like how Joker was. You know, Joker was set. In the 80s or the early 90s, I don't know exactly, or the 70s or something, but it looked like it was set back then. It looked like that. Maybe they should have used a different camera instead of using CGI. Maybe they should have just had it regular and just had certain CGI parts in the movie that didn't look fake. You know what I'm saying? So again, we do live in times where this is a comic book movie, so I can't really go complain too much because it's a comic book movie. And woman to Wonder Woman, there's no woman flying. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. 
So I'm not picking on that part of the movie or nitpicking that part of the movie because it's comic books. It's not real anyway. I am picking on the fact that it just didn't line up right. You know what I'm saying? So certain parts didn't line up right for me. So I, I, I'm i going to say that I would recommend people go see this movie as a family movie. It's not one of those movies or that I wouldn't tell you not to go see with your kids. It's a family friendly movie, you know, and there's certain things in it. That was cliche, but it is what it is. Like, you know, certain parts with little kids doing certain things. And overall, this movie to me as a movie, if I'm going into it as a person who watches movies and I'm a movie reviewer, it wasn't a good movie. But overall, as just being a family movie and uh, as something that I think you can take your kids to see, I would recommend it. So I'm going to give this movie, out of five stars, I'm going to give this movie three, 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 uh, three, two and a half stars, I would say. Two and a half stars for Wonder Woman. Um, I think that moving forward, I think that they should find better writers because I didn't really t particularly like the storyline of this movie. I thought it was, the storyline was an okay storyline, but I think that there are so many storylines that Wonder Woman has in, in her comic books that they could have used that would have been so much better. And I guess Hollywood is trying to stick to the times of what's going on now. And it's like, Forget all that. Forget all that. Forget the politics behind things and just do a good movie. It's the same thing that happened with Joker. Like, the Joker totally ruined a lot of comic book movies for me because it hit me from the blind side that they can actually make a comic book movie like this. You know, don't get me wrong. Man, I love comic book movies, but still. So... With that being said, two and a half stars for uh, for Wonder Woman 1984. I believe that they should move forward and find better writers. Um, what was her name? Patty Jenkins, I think, did this movie. She did the first one, too. And I think the first one, to me, was, was cool. But this one here, I think that um, she could have... Uh, what would I say? And I, like I said, I liked the how, how I liked how he taught her everything, and then she had to teach him everything. So that part of the movie too was good. And I, and I don't get me wrong, I did like the villain in the movie. I did like Cheetah, but it just seemed like she was just thrown in there. She didn't really have any depth to her, and it was kind of like it was, it was like kind of like I don't know a cliche story. Like oh yeah, well. She didn't she didn't have no 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 uh, self confidence and then now she got the chance to to be self confident. I think they should have tapped a little bit more into her and she should have been the main villain in the movie. And maybe they should have went a little bit further with that instead of having uh you know this guy who was the main protagonist in the movie. I think that I get it but I don't know. It just felt it just felt it just didn't feel, 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 feel really good to me. So three and a half star. I mean, two and a half stars. Wonder Woman 1984. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. All right.